here at the Food and Emphasis on Wine Classic, especially when you're with the talented Andrea Robinson, who's a friend to me when I'm here on these weekends. And she's, she's the one, also named for her glass. I love this concept. Thank you. Well, if, if you want to simplify your life, wine can be complicated. The glass store doesn't have to be. So there's just one for white and one for red that optimize every grape, every style. Easy. Obviously developed by a very smart mother, OK? There's something about that that I relate to. Uh, let, let's start with, we're, we're visiting our friends from Washington State. Tell me about Washington State for wines. OK, well, what people don't realize about Washington State is that it is the perfect confluence of the old world elegance and the new world fruit intensity. Just the other night here at the Classic, there was a 90s party. And it was, yeah, 90s music, but wines from the 90s. These wines age well. And we don't always consider them as something to put in the cellar. So you get value for the money to drink now, but they age beautifully. I love that. That's a great tip. And I'm going to start there. What are you pouring for us? Well, so tonight, this is Robert Coral 2009 Cabernet. This is 100% Cabernet. Now, we focus on wines from the Horse Heaven Hills, one of the Appalachians in Washington State. We have a second winery here that's Hedges. They're focusing on wines from the Red Mountain Appalachian. Well, let's, let's go ahead. Andrea, talk me through it. Okay, so, so the first thing is that with Washington State, they are one of the great regions for Cab. We think Napa Valley, okay. Bordeaux, but Washington's yeah. right in the mix. Okay. So here you've got Cabernet, exactly the characteristics you're looking for, which are cedar, yep. blackberry, yep. a little bit of bramble, which is cedar and blackberry all mixed. A little bit of bramble. <laughs> I love that. It's one of those fun terms. And, um, and then when you taste it, go ahead and taste oh, it. You're going to feel this tannin structure. That's the texture of Cabernet. It's like velvet on your tongue. It's very plush, and it's very, uh, it, it gives structure and texture, but it's soft. Yeah, the stru there's structure, texture, but there's still a smoothness to it. It's just a, it's a beautiful experience right away. Yeah. And the, I, what am I going to eat this with? OK, so I, I will say that, that what's great about a great cab is, yes, it goes with steak, braised short rib, Colorado lamb, here we are. But you can keep it simple if you're not a cook and pair it with a really mild, fine cheese like a manchego from Spain Perfect. or a one of the local cheeses, Beecher's from Washington is a great one. But you can also, my favorite thing for cab is basil pesto. So even if you're vegetarian, throw that on some pasta. Pes pesto and, and Cabernet. We just did it in a seminar and everybody's 200 people were like, oh my God, what a match. Andrea Robinson never ceases to give us great ideas and a wonderful wine experience. You're the one. Thank you. <laughs>